Good afternoon, everybody. This is Alan McBride coming to you from Church Central here at Navarre United Methodist Church. It's uh, Monday, April 20th, and I just wanted to touch base with you for just a moment. I want to read to you from a French theologian, Francois Fenelon. He wrote in the 18th century, he said, We must have faith during the period of our grief. We think that our afflictions will be greater than we can bear, but we do not know the strength of our own hearts, nor do we know the power of God. Um, we are going through a, a, an afflicted time um, in our community, in our church, in our country, in our world. Um, um, when will we be able to come back together again? That's a question that is on my heart and mind and I know is on yours too. When will things return to normal? Um, I just want to encourage you that, that we don't know how much it is that God is uplifting us and encouraging us. Be open to how He's blessing and moving in your life. Um, I know He's blessing and moving in my life. There's a lot of things that are really going well uh, even while we're in this closed down status. Um, we, we at the church are keeping busy. Um, the sanctuary, the exterior is being painted. We've, uh, we've shampooed the carpets on the interior. We're building a new welcome center in the front of the sanctuary and also a new coffee bar in Hildreth Hall. We are getting ready for when it's time to come back together. We have a new mailbox with a secure, envelope, a secure mailbox so you can drop off your gifts securely if you're not able to bring it inside. Um, there are wonderful things that are happening. Let me mention an incredible way that God is at work right now. Our thrift store and food pantry has very much become involved in serving families with children in the Navarre community. Um, we're in the fourth week of serving uh, upwards of 50 families with school-aged children. Uh, 120 children or thereabouts with weekly meals. And I want to thank the Lord for Cheryl Fromulero and Laura Beth Snow who are staffing this incredible ministry. Um, there have been people who in the church who have been giving to We Care and I thank you for your gifts. Continue to give to We Care, give to our church, but find ways to see where God is at work in your circumstance. I look forward to seeing you soon. My heart aches for a time when we can be together again. Know that I'm praying for you and I covet your prayers for me and my family. Let us know how we can help you. Give me a call any way I can serve you. I look forward to seeing you soon. God bless you.